Good day, grade 12 students. For our topic for this week, so we have module 11 in SST 1 to 4, which is importance of the applied social sciences. So at the end of this module, you are expected to explain the functions of applied social sciences. Demonstrate understanding of the different functions and purpose of the applied social sciences and its allied professions through an exploratory essay. So the applied social sciences developed as a reaction to the specialization of uh, the social science knowledge that dominated 20th and early 21st centuries. Scholars ag argued that there is a need for more collaboration within the disciplines of the social sciences and the practical application of the different social science disciplines. This new approach to understand and solve personal community or so societal issues using the social, the social sciences is the focus of the applied social science. So applied social science use different concepts and theoretical models and theories of the social sciences disciplines. Apply social science knowledge to understand society and address different personal and social problems and issues. So the applied and social or applied social sciences was developed as a response to the compartmentalization of the social science knowledge that was common during the late 90s and until the end of the 20th century. So this means that the different fields of the social sciences must be effectively worked together in addressing issues. So this multidisciplinary approach to the study of different issues in society in the focus of the applied social sciences. And applied social scientists, so they are... Uh, they are borrowing different concepts or use and borrow different concepts, theoretical models and theories of the social science disciplines, which can help them understand society and the different problems and issues that it faces. So the applied social science can also provide alternative solutions to these diverse societal problems. So the students who pursue courses on the applied social sciences give them sufficient background and training to have careers in counseling, social work, and communication. So these careers give practitioners opportunities to help unprivileged, marginalized, and the voiceless sectors of society like the poor and the indigenous people to improve their conditions and protect their rights. So, may mga estudyante talaga na nagpo-perso sila ng course nila. So, uh, they actually binigyan na sila or they are given a sufficient background at training para sa career. Ano? Career in counseling, social work, and communication. Okay, so now, let's proceed to the lesson 1 functions of the applied science, social sciences. So, ano nga ba yung function ng applied social sciences. So, in the first part of this self-development, an applied so, uh, social scientist can use his or her training as a develop self-development or personal development counselor. So, pwede niya may apply yung kanyang mga training uh, as a self-development or personal development counselor. As an applied social scientist practitioner, he or she can be able to help resolve a range of serious problems in people's lives. Self-development through counseling can be done by guidance counselor, counselors or life coaches, career counselors, uh, Okay, so again, Self-development through counseling can be done by, by guidance counselors or life coaches, career counselors, 
um, hypnotherapist and personal growth counselor. So, there are different types of uh, self-development or personal development counseling that an implied social scientist can pursue. So, this include the following. Una na dyan, number one, life coaches for personal development. So, life coaching is a profession that address specific personal projects business success or successes, general conditions, and transitions in a personal or person's personal life, relationships, or profession. So, a life coach examines the present condition of the client, discovers what obstacles or challenges a client faces, and chooses a course of action to make the client's life be uh, what or he or she wants to be. So, pwede siya maging life coach ano, para sa personal development ng isang tao. Ma-address niya yung kanyang specific personal projects, business, or success, uh, or general condition, at transition sa personal na buhay. Next, number two, career counseling for personal development. Careers counselors investigate the client's personal strengths and weaknesses in the job market. So, his or her goals and or his or her options in life. So, it is needed by people who are entering the job market looking for career changes and those who want to advise within uh, their present careers. So, sila, actually, one of their function is uh, to help them to find out what is a uh, better career okay, path for them. So, sila ay uh, mag advice ng uh, different objectives. So, ano ba yung strengths or weakness mo? Ano? At doon, magkakaroon ka ng different option para malaman mo kung ano ba yung fit or ano ba yung mas okay na career for you. Okay, next number three is hypnotherapy. So, ano ba yung hypnotherapy? It is a form of complementary therapy that uses the power of positive suggestion to bring about subconscious change to one's thoughts, feelings, and behavior. So, this heightened state of awareness. Rich using skilled relaxation techniques allows the hypnotherapist to make appropriate suggestions. So, yung hypnotherapy na tinatawag natin ay isa siyang complementary therapy na gumagamit siya ng power of positive suggestion. So, it is uh, more on positive energy para ma, uh, mailabas ano ba yung nandoon sa iyong subco uh, subconscious change ano, or magkaroon ng subconscious change doon sa isang thoughts or feelings or behavior ng tao or ng client niya. <clears throat> okay? Next, number four, personal growth counseling for personal development. A personal growth counselor focuses on the evaluation of a client's life goals life goals and the different aspects of your life. So, this form of counseling incorporates the techniques and appro approaches of life and career counseling into the more exploratory work done in traditional personal counseling. So, ito naman personal growth counseling natin for personal development. Uh, they are focusing on the evaluation ng uh, sa kanilang client's life. Ano ba yung buhay nitong client nila? Ano ba yung goal? and different aspect ng buhay niya. Ano, para ma-incorporate nila ano ba yung best techniques or approaches na pwedeng gamitin sa life and career counseling. Okay, in the next part of this lesson, ng functions of the applied social science, so we have what we call persuasion. Ang persuasion in careers actually related ito uh, sa communication like mass media, advertising, and business. So, yung persuasion is very essential. So, mapakahalaga. To persuade someone means being able to convince other people to change their attitudes or be behavior regarding an issue through the communication of messages in an atmosphere of free choice. So, you are like... Uh, you are like convincing someone na baguhin nila yung kanilang attitude or behavior regarding doon sa isang issue. Ano? 
So, applied social science is a strong foundation in anthropology and sociology is important in persuading people because these disciplines can help practitioners understand the behavior, beliefs, and traditions of the people. So, uh, ang mga social scientists, actually, yung strong foundation nila in anthropology and sociology ay importante sa pag-persuade ng tao dahil itong discipline na ito ay makakatulong sa kanila. Okay, can help practitioners to understand the behavior, ano ba yung behavior, ano ba yung beliefs or tradition ng tao. Okay, so next is art and entertainment. So, applied social sciences are also used in the arts and entertainment industry. So, ginagamit din siya sa arts and entertainment industry. Arts and entertainment are reflections of countries, culture, and society. So, kung ano meron tayo sa ating arts and entertainment, nagre-reflect dun kung ano yung culture at society na meron tayo. As new forms and delivery and delivery systems for entertainment, Pro proliferated, there is great importance to understand the needs of the viewing public. So, the applied social sciences it, uh, proves to be important in this aspect. So, importante yung social science ano, sa aspetong to. Because a strong foundation in the study of the people's viewing behavior and patterns are emphasized in this multidisciplinary. So, napaka-importante rin. Kasi dito natin nalalaman ano ba yung viewing behavior na meron or pattern ano, na meron ang mga uh, Pilipino, for example. <clears throat> Kasi, halimbawa nga kung ang Korea, meron sila mga K-pop. So, dun pa lang, uh, nagre-reflect yung kanilang culture at yung kanilang society. Na talagang, they have the big influence or great influence pagdating sa Asia. Actually, all over the world na nga. Okay, so next naman natin ay news and information. So, applied social sciences is also important in the field of journalism. So, napaka-importante nito sa field ng journalism. The news and current affairs sector emphasize the need for a balanced, objective, and truthful rendering of the political and other important events as they happen. So, through the application of these fields, applied social scientists have enough skills to be able to write and report news accurately and objectively. So, uh, through the application of these fields, ang applied social scientists natin, meron na silang enough skill para makapagsulat sila uh, ng maayos ano, ng mga reports accurately at objectively pa. So, applied social sciences is important in market research because of their excellent grounding of the practitioners on the social sciences, especially pagdating sa anthropology, demography, and sociology. So, these fields are important to be able to understand and analyze target customers, competitors, and the market.